Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to our online class. So in this class, we will solve a few problems from uh, matrices. Ma. Okay. So see the first problem here. Find the sum of eigenvalues and the product of eigenvalues of, uh, of a matrix A, 1, 1, 3, 1, 5, 1 and 3, 1, 1. Okay. What is asking here? He is asking sum of eigenvalues and product of eigenvalues. Okay. Actually, this problem will come for short answer. So, so many students, what they did earlier, so they calculated uh, total eigenvalues, then uh, they added them, they got the sum of eigenvalues and they multiplied them, they got product of eigenvalues. For two marks, no need to solve that much uh, lengthy uh, procedure. So, then how to solve here? Sum of eigenvalues, sum of eigenvalues is nothing but, sum of eigenvalues is nothing but trace of A. Is nothing but trace of A. That is how much ma you have to add the diagonal numbers. You have the you have to add the diagonal elements. So one plus five plus one is how much seven. So sum of eigenvalues is how much ma seven. Then what we have to find? We have to find product of eigenvalues. What we have to find? We have to find product of eigen product of eigenvalues. So product of eigenvalues. Next, what is that product? So product of eigenvalues. So product of eigenvalues is nothing but determinant of A. Product of eigenvalues is nothing but what? Determinant of A. So that is equal to mod 1, 1, 3, 1, 5, 1, 3, 1, 1. You have to find the determinant mark. 1 into, leave this row and this column. 5 minus 1, minus 1 into this row, this column. 1 minus 3 plus 3 into uh, this row, this column, 1 minus 15. So, how much I get here? 4 plus 2 um, minus 42. So, 6 minus 42 is how much? Minus 36. So, therefore, product of eigenvalues is how much I got? Minus 36. And sum of eigenvalues is how much I got? 7. Understand here? So, whenever this problem is come for short answer, Sum of eigenvalues is nothing but trace of A. That means you have to add the diagonal elements. Product of eigenvalues is nothing but determinant of A. Ma. Understand? So just go through this problem. Yes, next problem. Ma. Find eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix. Okay. So here, how to find, see, eigenvalues and characteristic roots both are same. Eigenvectors and uh, characteristic vectors both are same, correct? So, first what we have to find how to solve whenever he is asking eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvectors. So, first we have to write, what we have to write ma? Characteristic equation we have to write. So, given matrix can be taken as A. So, this can be taken as A, correct? Let A is equal to this. Then, characteristic characteristic equation. What is characteristic equation? Mod A minus lambda i is equal to 0. Characteristic equation is what? Mod A minus lambda i is equal to 0. So many students, this characteristic equation, no, this is actually determinant. So they will write like this. They will write like this. Correct? It is not like that, no. So whenever you are writing characteristic equation, it should be in the mod okay characteristic equation mod a minus lambda i is equal to 0 that means what we have to do we have to we have to subtract lambda from the diagonal of the given matrix so what i get here so this implies mod so we have to subtract lambda from the diagonal mass so what i get here 6 minus lambda minus 2 2 minus 2, 3 minus lambda minus 1, 2 minus 1, 3 minus lambda is equal to 0. So, what we have to find? This is a mod. You have to find determinant here. Do not write it in the form of matrix. Correct? This is not matrix. This is a determinant. You have to write in the form of determinant mod 6 minus lambda, then minus 2, 2, minus 2, 3 minus lambda, minus 1, 2, minus 1, 3 minus. This is nothing but you have to subtract lambda from the diagonal correct now <coughs> find the equation ma. so what i get here 6 minus lambda into how to find determinant first this element 
this row into this column we have to leave this into this correct so what i get here 3 minus lambda whole square that means 9 plus lambda square 9 plus lambda square minus 6 lambda a minus b whole square correct minus now here here so many students get a mistake ma minus a d minus b c no so minus minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 okay so 9 plus lambda square minus 6 lambda minus 1 next minus of second element minus 2 into now this row this column we have to leave this row this column so minus 2 into 3 is how much minus 6 minus 2 into minus lambda is how much ma? 2 lambda next minus 2 into minus 1 minus 2 minus of minus plus 2 plus 2 into plus 2 into one second, huh, plus 2 into 2 into so now i have to leave this row and this column ma? minus into minus plus 2 1s are 2 minus 2 3s are 6 minus 6 2 into minus lambda minus 2 lambda minus of minus plus 2 lambda is equal to 0 correct so now simplify this equation what i get here 6 minus lambda into lambda square minus 6 lambda 9 minus 1 8 minus of minus plus 2 2 lambda minus 4 plus 2 into 2 lambda minus 4 so many students while finding the determinant only they will made mistake so matrices may if you made one time mistake then it will take a lot of time to rectify the mistake mass so while you are uh, finding determinant in that time only you have to be very careful okay so now so multiply here so what i get here 6 into lambda square 6 lambda square minus 36 lambda 6 eights are 48 next minus lambda into lambda square minus lambda cube minus into minus plus 6 lambda square minus 8 lambda then 2 into 2 4 lambda 2 fours are 8 plus 2 into 2 4 lambda 2 fours are 8 is equal to 0 so what i get here so this implies minus lambda cube 6 plus 6 12 lambda 12 lambda square next minus 36 minus 8 plus 4 plus 4 minus 8 plus 4 plus 4 got cancel mark so minus 36 lambda 48 minus 16 is how much 32 is equal to 0 multiply this by minus i get lambda cube minus 12 lambda square plus 36 lambda minus 32 is equal to 0 this is our characteristic equation this is our characteristic equation correct now what we have to find we have to find the lambda values using calculator if i find if i use the calculator i got lambda values are 2 comma 2 comma 8 what i got ma so use the calculator use the calculator and find the lambda values i got lambda values are what 2 comma 2 comma 8 are the eigen values now what you have to find so therefore these are what are eigen values very simple here correct now what you have to find you have to find corresponding eigen vectors you have to find here lambda 2 con 2 we got same roots correct then 8 is different single root so we have to find corresponding eigen vectors how to find when uh, two roots are same or uh, two eigen values are same uh? so see here first now corresponding eigen vector one second so corresponding eigen vector first to find eigen vector first take if lambda is equal to 2 if lambda is equal to 2 then what happened ma? a minus if lambda is equal to 2 where we have to substitute a minus lambda i is equal to 0 we took no a minus lambda i is equal to 0 so there we have to substitute the 2 value okay so if i substitute the 2 value so what i get here a minus a minus 2 i a minus 2i into x is equal to 0. A minus 2i into x is equal to 0. That means 6 minus 2 is how much ma? 4 minus 2, 2 minus 2, 3 minus 2, 1 minus 1, 2 minus 1, 3 minus 2, 1 I got. So capital X is what? X, Y, Z. Correct? So if I find rank over here, so what I get here? Rank, if I find rank over here, R2 changes to 2R2 plus R1, R3 changes to 2R3 minus R1. So, what I get here? 4 minus 2, 2 
zero and zero minus two plus two zero uh, four minus four zero minus two minus half minus plus two zero zero I got ma. So into x y z into x y z is equal to zero. Correct? X y z is equal to zero. Two roots. Uh, uh, now <coughs> how to find? Uh, now here what is rank I got? So rank is equal to one. Rank is equal to one. Number of unknowns, how many we have to find? 3. So, n is equal to 3. So, now, how to find uh, uh, x, y, z, ma? So, number of solutions, number of solutions is equal to n minus r. That means 3 minus 1. Two solutions we have to assume. So, what we have to do here? Two solutions we have to assume, ma? So, let, so what are those two solutions? Let z is equal to some k1 and y is equal to some k2. z is equal to some k1 and y is equal to some k2. Basically, what we have to find? We have to find the values of x, y, z. So, what I get here from this equation? So, I get here, if I multiply by 2, so I get 2x, first equation, 2x minus uh, 2x minus y plus z is equal to 0. So, 2x is equal to y minus z. So, x is equal to, uh, what is y we took here? k2 k2 by 2 minus z is equal to how much ma k1 by 2 right so therefore corresponding eigenvectors x y z is equal to how much here k2 by 2 minus k1 by 2 y is k2 z is k1 so i got in in terms of k1 and k2 in terms of k1 and k2 then how to Separate these two values ma. So k1 terms one one uh, one one side. I mean k1 and take the common zero and here one. So k1 plus then k2 terms one by two uh, one and zero into k2. If I take k1 and k2 is equal to one. So therefore and multiply this by two. So what I get here. Okay, I'll write uh, somewhere one second. Huh. So, if I take k1 is equal to 1 and k2 is equal to 1 and uh, multiply this by 2. So, what I get here? Minus 1. What I get here? Ma? Minus 1, uh, 0 and 2 ones are 2. This is one eigenvector plus, okay, okay, we'll do one thing. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll do right directly. Okay, one thing. So, if I take k1 is equal to 1, k1 and k2 is equal to 1, so, what I get here, ma, corresponding eigenvector x1. So, this is the k1 term, no? Multiply this by 2. What I get here? Minus 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 2. This is one eigenvector. And from here, uh, k2 is equal to 1 and multiply this by 2, 1, 2, 0. So, these two are the corresponding eigenvectors when lambda is equal to 2. When lambda is equal to 2. So, whenever two eigenvalues are same, we have to do this method. We have to find the value of, uh, we have to find the rank. Then we have to take the number of solutions. Then assume the solutions. Let z is equal to k1 and y is equal to k2. Then 2x is equal, substitute this equation, 4x, multiply this, by, divide this by 2, 2 minus 1, 1. So 2x minus uh, y plus z is equal to 0. Take these two terms this side. Ma. So cross multiply the 2 in place of y, you write k2 in place of z k1 then separate uh, xyz is what x is this and y is k2 z is k1 separate k1 terms and k2 terms then take k1 is equal to k2 is equal to 1 then x1 uh, eigenvector and x2 is another eigenvector so what is left here now x is equal to sorry lambda is equal to 8 if lambda is equal to 8 then we have to find the third eigenvector correct let us see how to solve third one ma if third one, if lambda is equal to 8, if lambda is equal to 8, then where we have to substitute this lambda value a minus 8i, correct? a minus 8i. So, what I get here, if I substitute lambda is equal to 8 here, so I get a minus 8i into x is equal to a minus 8i into x is equal to 0, correct? So, therefore, uh, 6 minus 8 is how much ma? Minus 2 minus 2, 2 minus 2, 3 minus 8, 3 minus 8 is how much? Minus 5, 
minus 1, 2, minus 1, 3, minus 8 is how much? Minus 5. This is the matrix and x is what? x, y, z is equal to 0. x is what? x, y, z is equal to 0. Now, you have to find the value of, you have to find the value of x, y, z. Uh, correct, ma? So, take any two rows. Take first, uh, first two rows. If I take first two rows, so what I get here? If I take, see, middle term is what? Minus 2. Start with middle term. Then right term 2. Then again, middle uh, left term. Then middle term. Correct? Then here also say minus 5, minus 1, minus 2, minus 5. This is x, y and z. So x is how much ma? 2 plus uh, 10. Y is how much? Minus 4, minus 2. Z is how much? 10 minus 4. So what I get here? X by 12, Y by minus 6, Z by 6. X by 12, Y by minus 6 and Z by 6. Multiply, uh, di divide this by 6. So what I get here? X by 2, Y by minus 1, Z by 1. Y by minus 1 and Z by 1. So therefore, third corresponding eigenvector, X3 is equal to how much I got? 2 minus 1 and 1. That's it. So, these are the corresponding eigenvectors when uh, with respect to the corresponding eigenvalues 2, 2, 2, 2, 8. Understand here? So, this is the lengthy problem actually. It's a general problem. Okay. So, like this, you have to